Brian, how are you, pal? Good to see you. Uh, I'm, I'm great. How are you, Rez and uh, Sam in the back end? <laughs> <laughs> We're both fine. We're both fine. There's someone to my right as well. I don't know if you noticed him. I can't him. see him. I can't see him. Because, uh, there's just a, a silhouette of something over there. Uh, uh, but I did hear someone say, why did I fall asleep? It's the last thing I heard him say. Um, and it's because it's because I got up at 5 a.m. to do the wow. pre-match pump up. Of course. It's because I'm still fighting this cough and taking cough syrup that's knocking oh. the crap out of me. Um, but yeah, that's why I fell asleep. So, Rez, what questions do you have for me, sir? <laughs> Um, thoughts on the game? I mean, obviously, it's a preseason. Uh, Nick's gone. Uh, <laughs> thoughts on a preseason. <laughs> thoughts on what is essentially a preseason game? It's just a, it's a training game. It's just a friendly. But what did you think of it? From what um, you saw? Listen, I, I'll tell you exactly where I felt. I was kind of in and out of sleep, but I, I fell asleep uh, pretty soon after Harry Kane's goal. Right. Um, so, so in the first so half, that the, was, was that the the goal that was allowed or disallowed? The goal that stood. The, the goal that stood. stood. Okay, yep. Um, so, yeah, listen, it, it was pre-season. Defence looked a, a little bit ropey again, I, I have to admit. Um, Oli Skip, I think, did well. Mm -hmm. Harry, I tell you what, Harry Kane just looks hungry, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. he Harry does. Kane just looks like he is ready to go. He's taking no prisoners and uh, <laughs> it, it, it's going to be good to go. And Nick, come back, brother, because I want to say happy birthday to Laura. <laughs> um, He's on his happy way birthday, back. Ha happy birthday to Laura. Um uh, yeah, so, so, so the game, the, the, this is, it, it's another 90 minutes under the players' belts, really, isn't it? So, um, absolutely. So, so that, that, that's the positive thing to take from it. But the main thing I take from it is just how hungry Harry Kane looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. He did. There was, there was energy there, certainly. Obviously, everyone's rusty. It will take time to get up to sharpness, but there was certainly intent there. I think from everyone. Um, did you, I mean, nobody looked disinterested to me. No. To you? no, I mean, I, I got a bit worried about Hoybier when he played that loose back pass um, and they could have scored. Um, mm -hmm. He looked a little bit sloppy with his passing from what I saw at some times. But like we said, this is pre-season. Yeah. These are where you iron out these kinks and, uh, uh, and you sort out the, the issues that you have there. So uh, no real great concerns. I think come August the 6th, the, the, the team will be ready and firing to go. Excellent, excellent. Uh, who impressed you other than Kane? Only Skip. And Skip. Ollie Skip. Yeah, I think, I uh, Ollie Skip, I mean, I'm a huge, huge fan of him. So uh, mm. I like what he was doing. Just to see him back and playing again is such a huge lift for us because he really, I think, if we had him fit last season when we when we were down to uh, Benton Core and um, Boebia, okay. I think we would have secured top four a lot earlier. Mm. Um, without him was uh, obviously having to rely on Winks and other people to play in that position. I think... It, Lucas Moore didn't play too bad from right wing back from what I was seeing. Um, so, so who knows what, why we didn't try this last season when we were having a bit of a, a, a meltdown with right wing back to start it now, just as we're signing a right wing back. I don't know. But hey, Conte knows better than all of us put together. So whatever he does, uh, I'm happy with. But yeah, that's that's all I could really talk about when it comes to the game. But, um, what about I Moore? Spoken... Were, you surprised, no, were you surprised when you saw the team sheet and found Lucas starting in that right wing berth? Right wing back. I was, I I I, I was, and, I, and like I said, for the reasons being that why we didn't try that last season. Mm. Obviously, I, I, that's what I was saying. I would have liked to have seen with Bergwijn last season. Yeah. Before he went, obviously that that's now uh, out. So if he thinks that Lucas can play there, because I think attacking, yeah. he may be limited with the uh, with the arrival of Ebers, uh with the right, arrival of Richarlison, and obviously uh, Kulisevsky playing there as well. Mm. So I think maybe this may be. The position where, do you know what, if you want to keep Lucas Moura, that may be where his uh, future lies in, in, in the team. Mm. What what areas do you see as still needing work in terms of the squad? From, from what you've seen, from what you've seen, not necessarily from sort of last season, but if you were just looking at the last two games, obviously they're pre-season friendlies, but if you were saying, right, the most desperately needed position right now is, what would that be? If I if I could say to you, now that we've got Jed Spence in, um, I, I I did say that I wanted another right wing back mm -hmm. to, to be more experienced. But like I said on the uh, on the pump up, someone said in the comments on uh, yesterday's show that Conte could turn him into the next Victor Moses. And I, mm -hmm. when I say that, I mean look what he did with Victor Moses at right wing back for Chelsea when they won the league. No one saw that coming. 
And after I saw that comment, it really rung with me that, do you know what, maybe he could do this with Spence as well. So I don't really want to go get another right back now. What I want us to do is get a rock hard centre back, mm. and if possible, a creative midfielder. As much and George yeah. mentioned it before, I would love James Madison at the club. Love him at the club. I just don't think he'll come. And if he does come, Leicester don't need the money. Leicester, mm. like they did with Harry Maguire, will say, right, man, you if you want him, eighty-five million is the price. Eighty-five million, come and get him, and they did. And I think they'll whack a stupid price on Madison. It's whether we as a club go and say, right, we're going to pay that fee. Because I would love to see James Madison at the club. Uh, yeah. But I just don't think he would come personally. And I don't think the club are going to allow it to go for anybody that we'd, we'd be uh, prepared to pay. Yeah. Concerns about his sort of, not attitude as in playing attitude, but his attitude towards Spurs as a club. Uh, I think if we were to get him, if we look at it, I don't think you can bring your attitude to an Antonio Conte team because he'll mm. slap it right out of your face. Yeah. He'll be like, you've come here, this this ends now. And I, I don't think you really want to defy Antonio Conte or his fitness mm. coach. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I, think that could true, be, yeah. I think that could be your worst nightmare. <laughs> so if he does come, I think Conte would slap that out of him because he, if it, when, he's, when he's on his game and when he's feeling good, he's an England international. Mm. He really is. And I think it's that attitude and that lack of discipline that's keeping him out of the England team. And I think Antonio Conte could correct that. So I'd love to see him. It's whether he does come or not. Mm. I I saw the beginning, or not the beginnings, but I saw a process that started last season in terms of the actual system being <coughs> infused into the squad, for want of a better phrase. Did you see, I mean, what kind of things did you see that sort of suggest that, you know, Conte's message is getting through to the squad. They are beginning to learn and, and it's really starting to take root now. You know, I, I, I can't really comment about this game, but what you can see is, is from the training, you can see the, the motivation they have, the dedication and commitment to, to, to do what the manager is saying, to, uh, to see them throwing their guts up or collapsing at the end of training. Mm. Is showing just how how eager they are to do this for the manager. A run, we always loads of people say run through a brick run wall, through run a wall, through a brick so. wall, and I think that's what you're seeing with the team. I think when it comes, they'll be on their way home, maybe later today, tomorrow, or or whatever that may be. And then when they're back a a a, a Hotspur away, when they're back to the English conditions, they they'll be training their their asses off. They'll they'll get the benefits of this training camp as soon as they get back home. And obviously, with the game being at Rangers next week, that there's no friendlies between England and Scotland, no matter what happens. So that'll be a a, a game for uh, <laughs> not for the weak-hearted. And then obviously in Israel against Jose, what more motivation do you want? Yeah, to try and get one over on him, and he's going to be eager to get one over on us. So, Absolutely. So the kind of it, it's all it's all there for you to to be very very motivated for it. So uh, I think this training camp and the the exhausting regime that Conte's had will, will reap benefits for us in the coming weeks and season. Excellent. So three weeks to the beginning of the season on a scale of one to 10. How excited yep. are you? 28.6. 28. 28. <laughs> 28. You've got to have okay. the decimals. You've got to have, have the decimals, of course. It's about precision. You've got to have the decimals. And then obviously, Rez, I've got you coming to Toronto a few weeks after it starts. This is so, true. Uh, this is true. So you'll be here for the North London derby at the field. So, uh, Lots I think, to look forward to. I think you need to start getting Toronto prepped, like from now. You know, <laughs> go out there, tell people it's happening, just get them ready because you know there's going to be there's going to be earthquakes. I think, especially with uh, it's, it, it, the, 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 it's already, it's already some happening. Broken mate. hearts <laughs> and earthquakes. It, it, <laughs> it, it, it's already happening. Toronto's getting ready to welcome your brother, all of Toronto Spurs, Bobby K, especially, and the kids. But yeah, but look, the siege is coming up. Southampton, that stadium's going to be rocking. Yeah. No matter, no matter what happens this, this season, everyone, whether you're going to pubs around the world or watching it at home around the world or going to that ground, everyone is going there with adrenaline. Everyone is going there yeah. with belief that this season, things are going to happen with the way the, the, the club have backed the manager and the manager we have. And I think we're in store for an absolutely incredible season. Fantastic. Fantastic. Any other final thoughts, Brian? Anything that sort of stood out for you? No, the only thing I will say is obviously, Nick, it's always a pleasure being spending time with you, brother. Um, wish Laura <laughs> wish Laura a very, very happy birthday for me. You, um, 
and, and most importantly, mate, like you've been uh, promoted, I, I've been going mad on my socials. Listen, the, the boys that put out all this content for us daily, weekly, monthly, annually, they do so much for us. Absolutely. So much for us. Not just us, yeah. as, uh, not just us as in people in the chat. The people that have gone on to make channels and, be, and do channels and part of channels, these boys and the back-end people don't see us as threats like other football teams and their fan zones do. They are, the, they are a, a WhatsApp message away, a phone call away. They embrace everyone. When you, when you go and meet them at the ground or if you see them on the street, pictures, but they do anything and everything for us. Yeah. Well, now it's our time to do something for them. I and just so. vote for them. Just vote for them. They're Absolutely. fourth at the moment. They're fourth at the moment. When, when I started going on, my, they, they were about, I think they picked up four or 500 votes in the last 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. They were like 800 behind third place. I think they're only a few hundred behind Come now. Come on, you can let, do let, it, let, Let's get them. AFTV a second. Let, listen, we ruled, we ruled North London. North Absolutely. London is Lily White. Let's do it on the Fan Zone channels as well yeah. and get the boys where they rightly deserve. So everyone just literally, that link that should be there, it's across all my socials. It's free. It just free. hit yeah. Just hit the link. Hit We Are Tottenham TV. Your vote is cast. That's it. You have the rest of your day. Give exactly. the boys. They do everything for us. For once, let's help them. Absolutely, agree. absolutely, Brian, hundred percent. Always a pleasure, mate. Always a pleasure. You, Always. We hope, guys. We, we hope you feel better as well, bud. Thank you. I'm going to go back to sleep now because there's nothing okay. to do. I'll take a few more shots of cough syrup. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I will speak to you all later, guys. Love you all.